What we've done is we filled uh, 65 gallons of just uh, filtered used vegetable oil right here. And then we're going to take the syringe here. We're going we're gonna to add 10 milliliters of rubbing alcohol to the vial and pull out one milliliter of oil out of the tank here. And we're going to measure to see the titration. There's 10 milliliters of uh, rubbing alcohol in the vial here. Right, Got one milliliter of oil here. Mix that up a little bit. Then we're going to add two drops of reactants. And then what we're going to do is we're going, this is the sodium hydroxide mix and we're going to draw out just a little bit of it. I would start with uh, two milliliters. That's probably plenty enough, but we're going to probably use one milliliter. But what we're going to do is we're going to draw it out of this and we're going to add it a little, to the, little at a time to the vial. We're going to shake it up and watch it and make it turn green, oh not green, pink. Uh, <laughs> a light pink. We're going to shake it up and make sure that the pink stays active for more than 10 seconds. So, I don't know why I said green. The other green. Yeah, the other green. All right. There's two milliliters. I bet it's going to just take one. That's what they usually do. Okay, we're just going to. There's 0.8 milliliters, and we're going to shake that up, but I bet it's not going to be enough. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. Okay. <clears throat> okay. There's one milliliter. Ooh, that's not enough. Okay. I was wrong. Try that one. There you go. It was good. Okay, it stays pink. This is the pink that you need right here. And it's still 10 seconds. Okay. Alrighty. So that was 1.4 uh, milliliters. So that's what we look at as far as our titration. So then we add our titration into the calculation. 1.4. And since we're using uh, potassium hydroxide, we're going to divide 1.4 by 4, and that's our number we're going to add in the calculator. Our titration is 0.35, because that's 1.4 divided by 4. So we're going to use, let's do, uh, now we're going to use the biodiesel calculator, right? and we've got 65 gallons of oil. So we're going to put that in there as 65. And our purity is 90%, and that'll say on the uh, stack of potassium hydroxide. So we add that into the uh, purity section of the calculator. So we've got 90, we've got titration 0.34, and we've got 65 gallons. So we need yeah, 20%. 20% of this is going to be in methanol. We're going to mix the methanol and potassium hydroxide in this little 
canister here. Then we're going to pour it into this container here. Once it's all in there, we turn on the valves and get the thing flushing. And we're going to draw out of this tank, and I'll show you here in a minute. Okay, it's 3,647 grams of potassium hydroxide. Okay, we just measure it here. There's 118 grams right there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put it in the methanol here. And we're going to stir it a little at a time. Oh, I'll, I'll stir it. Okay, and so when you're pouring in these potassium hydroxide in the methanol while you're stirring it, you don't want to do too big of volumes at too much because it will start to boil. And you don't want it to boil up out of the container or melt the container. So you want to just stir it, make sure it's just good and dissolved a little at a time. And then we pour this into the methanol container on the biodiesel processor, get another two or three gallons, mix some more, and that should be good. Okay, so now that we've got the uh, methanol added to the methanol barrel on there on the right there, we're going to turn on the valves and we're going to recirculate and mix it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the recirculation pump. What we're going to do is we're going to get it to where it's pumping some and then we're going to, once it's pumping some, then we're going to open up the valve from the methanol tank about halfway. It should start draining the methanol, which it is, because you can tell it's a white mixture now. Okay, now that we shut the valve off from the methanol tank, and it's empty, then we uh, open the valve fully from the oil tank, and all it is is just recirculating back and forth, and that's mixing the oil and methanol. Also, the heater is on on this, and so it's going to heat the mixture, and the closer it is to 120 degrees, the better the mixture is. And therefore, your better your reaction is. We've got the reaction now that's happened, and the amount of methanol that you put in should be the amount of glycerol that is left over in the bottom of the tank. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the line or not. You probably can't do in the video, but mm -hmm. there'll be a darker line showing at the uh, bottom of the tank. And so what we're going to do, just to test it, is we're going to open up the valve there and it should be much darker than the regular oil that we put in there. It should be a really dark, dark coffee look color. So we'll go ahead and open that and we'll show you. See how much darker that is and that's normal glycerol color. And when, so this we added 13 gallons of methanol, so it should be close to 13 gallons of glycerol coming out of there. And that drains off the bottom portion. And once we drain it all out, then we will have the raw biodiesel sitting in there ready to be processed through the black container here, which is the, uh, then it contains the pure light and it purifies the raw biodiesel and puts it back into the tank. So, okay, now that we have um, drained off the glycerol, We've shut off the uh, valve here, and we're going to open this one, this one, and this one here, and then that's going to force the raw biodiesel in this hose through the biodiesel purifier and up back into the tank, and it's just going to circulate. And what we do is we're going to circulate this for about five hours, and uh, four to five hours and it should be purified and look as clean as possible. All right. Okay, and this is what the uh, biodiesel should look like after it's been filtered. Now, taking into consideration this container we have is plastic and it's, it's got a little uh, fogginess to the plastic itself. If it was in a glass jar that was clean, it would look much cleaner than this. I mean, uh, clearer than this. But anyway, you can see between this and then the black um, sludge that we drained out the glycerol. So this is what it should look like.